Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our Intigenix webinar. My name is Tom Driscoll. I'm Vice President of Marketing at Intigenix. Today, we'll provide an overview of our developmental validation using our new Global Filer Express kits and show how data generated with a rapid hit system can be uploaded to CODIS. The webinar will take about an hour, and we have allocated some time at the end for some Q&A. If you'd like to submit a question, open the GoToWebinar panel and click inside the question pane as indicated on this slide. Just type your question and click the send button. Our presenters today include Lisa Colandro, Director of Product Management, Human ID Division at Thermal Fisher, Lori Hennessy, responsible for assay integration and development at Inogenix, and Joe Dezino, former FBI Lab Director and Senior Director of Federal Markets at Inogenix. Our agenda today will start with Lisa providing an overview of the Global Filer Express chemistry and how the folks at LifeTech are helping Inogenix to meet the FBI requirements for CODIS upload. Then Lori will review our developmental validation data, followed by Joe's clarification of the FBI FAQs and how rapid hit, uh, rapid hit data can be uploaded to CODIS. With that, I'll hand the presentation over to Lisa. Good morning, everyone. I wanted to give a bit of an overview into the Global Filer Express Kit chemistry. The Global Filer Express Kit was developed in response to the CODIS Core Loci Working Group's recommendation to expand the CODIS Core Loci from 13 required loci to 20 required loci and three highly recommended loci. So you can see here on the screen the current uh, CODIS Core Loci on the left, the European loci recommended by MC and Edna and the new CODIS proposed and uh, required and recommended loci. The Global Filer and Global Filer Express kits meet the complete requirements of the CODIS core loci working group by incorporating all loci into a single multiplex. And the Global Filer Express kit was developmentally validated for direct amplification of single source samples. We developed Global Filer Express in a six die kit configuration. There were a number of reasons why we elected to go with six die. Um, the first is that we had more real estate uh, with an additional die channel. So we could capture 97% of alleles in the Global Filer and Global Filer Express kit allelic ladders in an amplicon size range of less than 400 base pairs. The six die format also gave us the ability to include more mini STRs. So those are STRs that we classify as less than 220 base pair amplicon size. And you can see here that we have 10 mini STRs um, in the Global Filer and Global Filer Express kits. If you use Global Filer or Global Filer Express in conjunction with the mini filer kit, which has different mini STR low size, you can capture a very discriminating uh, profile from even very challenging and degraded samples. The Global Filer Express Kit 6 die configuration also gave us the ability to maintain primer sequences so that we could maintain concordance with existing uh, samples already entered into databases worldwide. Only two of the loci, which are shown here, TPOX and DA, or sorry, EYS391 required primer redesign. We were also able to meet the CODIS Core Loci Working Group's recommendation to include a YSTR, so DYS391 in the green dye channel, as a means of confirming amylogen and dropouts. And we've also incorporated a Y indel, a very small Y marker, in the same dye channel so that we have more redundancy for uh, extremely degraded samples. The Global Filer and Global Filer Express kits are the most discriminating kits that we offer to date. And you can see here the comparison between uh, the discrimination capacity of Global Filer versus Identifiler and NGM Select kits. So the kit itself offers a new level of discrimination 
which helps reduce the risk of adventitious matches in database searches and facilitates international DNA profile comparisons. So the global filer kits were designed in two different formats. The first is a high performance uh, six dye chemistry for challenging casework samples. And the second is designed really as an ultra high throughput uh, direct amplification chemistry for single source samples. The Global Filer Express PCR amplification kit was recently ENDIS approved and the Global Filer casework kit has been submitted to ENDIS for approval. So each kit is designed for a very uh, purpose-defined uh, reason. The Global Filer Express kit chemistry was provided to Intigenix in its ENDIS approved format. There were no changes to the primer sequences, the primer configuration, or the master mix configuration, nor were there any changes to the ratio of the kit components. I'll now turn it over to Lori Hennessy to describe the integration of the Global Filer Express chemistry and the validation on the RapidHit platform.